I'm going to talk a little bit about meditation and noise. This will be part two of a series. When we meditate in general, unless we're skilled, often there's background thoughts, I call it subtext, to meditation. What's going on in the back of our minds while we're ostensibly meditating. And sometimes this goes on unnoticed, and often, often does go on unnoticed. We don't have any awareness of it happening. We're reciting our mantra, or we're watching our breath, all the while, we're thinking about where we're going to go afterwards, phone calls we want to make, responsibilities we have to take care of, a letter we want to send, something we want to fix, something we want to do, any number of thoughts concerning our daily activities. Often go by unnoticed as we're reciting a mantra or watching our breath or engaging in any other topic of meditation. However, if an annoying sound occurs, something changes. For example, if we're pick a nice spot in a park to sit in meditation. And we're meditating in a quiet spot we've chosen. And s some people sit near us shortly after we begin. And we become annoyed. We're thinking, oh, it was so peaceful before these people came. And now my meditation is disturbed. We may not notice it, but what's really happening is our subtext is being disturbed. We're annoyed because our subtext, our awareness of our subtext is heightened and brought to our attention by the surrounding noise, which we didn't notice until the surrounding noise uh, interrupted us, interrupted our subtext. So while we were peacefully meditating, what we were really doing is engaging in subtext under the pretext of meditating and not noticing the difference. The people coming by annoyed us, we think, because they disturbed their meditation. But if we were meditating, we wouldn't have noticed the people that came and sat down near us. So what happened was they disturbed our subtext and we're no longer in peacefully engaged in our subtext. And we blame it on the disturbance of the people, but it's really a weakness in our meditation. So the people didn't disturb our meditation the people disturb our subtext. And if we were really meditating, we wouldn't have known, noticed the, that the people were even showed up. So if we understand this, then it makes things a lot, we become a lot more tolerant of our choices of where to meditate. We can meditate basically anywhere because we know that any sounds that we hear is just basically noise in our head and it's just bringing it to the surface, making us aware of it. And so in a sense, we can think of a office or a park, a bus bench, our house with kids running around as the ideal place for meditation because it makes us more on our toes if we understand that 
these ambient sounds actually magnify our subtext and make us realize that we have to go deeper into meditation to really be meditating.